first at 11, overworked and undervalued. That's what SC for Ed says teachers in South Carolina are feeling based on a survey taken by school staff responses. New at 11, News 13's Maria DeBone has why 38% of those surveys say they plan to leave their current positions next year. Maria. Hi, Bob and Annette. Yeah, I spoke with SC for Ed's director of research who said they send out these surveys when they receive lots of the same feedback. This feedback is that all schools are facing a major shortage of substitutes and staff, causing current staff to do extra work. Teachers just feel like they're drowning. I saw that word over and over again. The past couple of surveys that we do, that people just feel like they're underwater. This past survey was called a temperature check, and it surveyed about 1,600 teachers and staff members in the state. 56% said they've been required to cover classes for other staff members at least once per week. Right now, we're, we're in a situation where we're asking everybody to step up and, and do extra work. I mean, we've got school bus drivers that are working in the cafeteria. Horry County School Board Chairman Ken Richardson said he understands the frustration, and that's why they're trying to compensate staff by just recently giving out a pay bonus to all. It's important to do it. I mean, I just I wish we could have given more. I mean, uh, listen, we, we, we can't pay... We don't have the money to pay what they're worth. I mean, we really don't. While SC for Ed Director of Research Steve Newsom says extra pay is good, there's more that the state and districts need to do. Need for um, state and especially district level leaders to take away a lot of the unnecessary paperwork and extra duties because um, those are a problem every year. But to have those this year on top of being pulled for coverage so much, it's a huge problem. Horry County School said it's actively hiring and has open positions on its website. For that and to read the full SC4Ed survey, you can go to WBTW.com.